Hey yo, Scopely, suck my d Me are the original junglies from 19 what year, yeah, sir? Can't get the car them lock up. Freedom, youngster. There is no original more original than this. Yo, if you fuck, boy. Yo, 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 what's going on, Slay? Yo, this is your boy, John Johnson, kicking it straight out of King Slayer Gaming. We're back at the game with another MSF Marvel Strike Force video. This time around, baby, we have to talk, baby. We got to talk about the current state of the game, and that involves the Illuminati release. We were talking about it before in a lot of the videos this week. Now we are going to take the time because I was waiting. I was waiting for Scopely to change and redact all the foolishness that we're about to talk about right now. That's what I was honestly waiting on. I was hoping we had the 4th of July. I was hoping we had the weekly blog update that they were going to address this and they chose not to, right? Or what the response was has been terrible terrible because they refuse to see the actual problem that the entire well not the entirety the entirety of the free to play community let's just preference that right because i have two sides to this and we're going to cover both of them in this video and this is going to be kind of lengthy i do apologize i usually don't do these types of things because msf really hasn't done anything like that to pee your boy off but you're gonna get angry john around here probably around the 10 minute mark or something i'm gonna say something that's probably going we're gonna have to redact in a little bit but yo real talk this has been terrible just how the whole community has reacted to it and how it splits so many people right so if you don't know, let me just catch you up real quick. So we have the Illuminati team is coming to the game, all right? That's going to be the next team that they have. We have some reworked characters. That's going to include Black Bolt's rework, Mr. Fantastic rework, Iron Man OG's rework. So that is sexy. We like that news, right? We're also going to be getting Hank Pym as well as Black Panther Shuri added to the squad. Now, why is that a bad thing? Not. Not a bad thing that they're adding those characters. It's that Captain Britain is the sixth member of this team. And this whole team, the Illuminati, is actually used to unlock the next legendary. And if that next legendary is anything like OML, on my life, yo, real talk, we gonna have to get that character. Be like, that's gonna be a joint we gonna wanna pick up. So why is it this, why is this so irritating, bro? Why is the community, as far as free to play, just pissed off? the way this is happening yo so check it out they actually released multiple different articles and we're going to cover multiple articles here on the channel all from marvelstrikeforce.com and this is essentially why your boy at least this is where your boy is coming from when it comes to this so I am not a person who spends money uh, willy-nilly or anything like that. I've never been raised to have a lot of it in the first place. I'm coming from a place of uh, I don't really, I, I have to spend my last two bucks a week, possibly, or maybe some ramen noodles so I can get through my week out here. I have barely had enough money to keep the lights on because we have bills separate in my apartment as I was transitioning out of college. I was almost homeless a couple of times. This is not anything to do with how pity my, his, my history is, yo. This is not what this is about. What I want to focus on in preference is how money is valued at least over here at ksg right so i personally i find it hard very very hard to spend money day one on a character that isn't gonna be that's gonna for example for example alpha flight bro I have not seen any return on the unlock of this team, <laughs> like, at all. I've seen return on the unlock for Mercs for Money. I've seen, come like, return on the unlock for Spider Society. But Alpha Flight has been booty for me. <laughs> like, I'm going to keep it a buck. So when I have to put $50 minimum into a day one release character, that's asking a lot. That's asking a lot of me, and the I've only done this one time, and that was just for Black Knight, and that's because our sexy member, OG Diamond Dave, donated here to the channel, and that's where that money went. Your boy doesn't spend on this game relatively often, unless it's a battle or a strike pass, and that's essentially, I try to weigh where my money is going uh, versus the 
uh, turnaround for the monetization because we did just make YouTube partner and then also the money we're making on Twitch from the content that we're able to produce. So is that money turnaround at least even if, if I'm making some money off of that? And that essentially goes into the battle pass and the strike passes, you know, and I don't get enough from Twitch and YouTube to get every strike pass every single month. You know what I mean? So that's where your boy's money situation is, you know, and that's that's a little bit at the same time peel behind the curtain of vulnerability baby i don't really feel like we got to really do that over here ksg yo so that's where i feel about the money aspect of it. they're making it so that you have to have a five yellow shuri as well and i'm not talking og shuri baby i'm talking black panther shuri and a five yellow hank pym in order to unlock captain britain bro so just just let me just say that one more time five stars on both shuri black panther as well as hank pym to get captain britain unlocked that means that you have to baby you're gonna have to spend money if you're a free-to-play player it doesn't look like you're actually gonna get captain britain at all and that's just what it looks like according to how they've released this data and how this is posted right you're gonna need a five yellow character in both the newest characters that are coming out not the characters we've had since day one baby no you gonna have to buy offers all right and what really sucks about that is if you're not somebody who spins in the game whatsoever you find it very hard to support the idea of spending whether that be more obligation or just not having the money to do so or you just don't feel like it's something that would just make sense to you whatever baby yo you do you you play the game the way you want to play it dog at the end of the day it looks like you're gonna have to spend money in order to get Captain Britain because you tell me how you pull in a five yellow star free to play. Cause I have been playing free to play, like not even free to play with the strike pass and battle passes. I can't call myself a free to play player. And I have not gotten a single character to five yellow from a release ever, period. Like, Black Knight didn't get it. Black Knight, I was sitting at four yellow until after the event was over. And I ended up getting that character on day one's release. I, you know, I got my 100 shards of him day one. So, it's just something that is not feasible for that free-to-play player. And I just want to be honest... I have seen all the other, I've seen a couple of other videos out there covering this, right? Some people, as far as I love my boy Mobile Gamer, Mobile Gamer, love him so much, bro. Yo, real talk, homie is the chillest dude in the world. If you have not had a chance to chat it up with him and hang out in one of his streams, I'm telling you, I will put his reaction to the actual joint that's been going on in the description because he has a phenomenal point of view that actually encompasses what I'm talking about from the business perspective and the monetization and the return of money that you put in Marvel Strike Force. So that's really, really important that you check that joint out. But from the free to play player, Ayo hey, Scopely, suck my dick. This is bullshit, straight up. The fact that you are making your spin on, like, bro, like, here's what made it so terrible, bro. And here's where I go off, dog. Here's where I cook. They out here talking like they finna help us out, bro. They out here claiming that we are about to get... Look, let me, let me read it to you, baby. Because they got multiple options in which they talk about this and discuss this joint, bro. Because they knew the players were not happy with the turnaround. So they decided... They decided like, oh, yo, y'all not y'all not happy with the with the fact that free to play players are not getting this unlock. Oh, but, but y y y I understand. You think you're not gonna get the next unlock or the next legendary because you are free to play player. I understand, but we got you. Scopely came through. They were like, you know what? We feel you. It's cool. They posted this big nothing burger right here, dog. They said. Can I participate in the next event if I do not have Captain Britain? Which was the initial question a lot of people had. Captain Britain is not required for the next legendary event and you can be successful with any five Illuminati characters. Which means if you are free to play, yes, you can get the unlock for 
the next legendary without having Captain Britain. You can put Iron Man in that slot and have a full five Illuminati. Does the team work the same? Hell no. No, it does not. That means your Crucible will not be as strong as the other players who are playing pay to play. And at this point, you are doing pay to participate. Forget pay to play. This is pay to participate out here, baby. And this is trash in every sense of the way trash because this does not address the problem. The problem is not that we cannot get the next legendary. The problem is we've been playing Marvel Strike Force for years and never have I ever. Okay. And I've been playing Marvel Strike Force for at least three years straight. Okay. I've taken multiple breaks before that point all right but i gradually you know took break came back regardless i never went too much straight without opening the game okay never and i have never ever not been able to unlock a character in marvel strike force free to play ever i have all and i might have been getting them at a really crappy star i might have even been able to pull a two star bro real talk they might have got your boy real real close to not even getting the unlock all right, but they got the unlock free to play. I did not have to put down money to play the game. All right, and now they're making it so that I have to do so in order to unlock a character. And that sucks ass, bro. Like, this is terrible. It feels bad. We thought they were going to do a whole turn the leaf joint with the whole, you know, so we aren't in it for hoarding. We ain't in it for the money joint. Well, they always been in it for the money. But now this is just straight down your throats. Give me your money or we don't give a fuck. Like, this is terrible. And then, and then they keep on talking out here baby they keep on with the cooking this is what makes it so hilarious to me bro as you scroll on down dog they tell us that black panther shuri right here dog black panther shuri will have the best character release offers we have ever had in marvel strike force dog all right the best character release offer so We've seen some great character offers, all right? Now, understand, you see the word here, release offers, all right? So this is very, very important in terminology because this, in a way, covers their ass, all right? And what I mean by that is look at these offers that we're seeing here in the store, right? We're here at MarvelStrikeForce.com. These are the offers. Look at some of these characters that they have over here where you can see shuri is ridiculously priced now i'm not saying that she's ridiculously priced in a, in a bad way this is technically priced in a good way in the aspect of the shards per dollar amount okay we've had other character releases in the past and you know all of them have never been as good as this technically so this technically makes them not a liar okay because the amount of shards that you're getting per this hundred dollars per i mean look at this hundred dollars and you get 215 shuri shards that right there is a great head start for you period if you're looking to spend money in the game awesome that was your boy playing devil's advocate and playing for the any game player and the players that make money off this game awesome cool we done covered y'all now for the free to play players fuck scopely bro this is bullshit are you kidding me you mean to tell me that i have to spend a minimum minimum of fucking thirty dollars because i have to even if they had another offer that you can't see over here where they have the 30 shard for fifteen dollars bro i'm not looking to do that dog i'm looking to unlock the character i'm looking to play the game and have fun playing you are killing the experience when you gatekeep shit like this and you make it so that we have to put money into the game in order to actually play the fucking game this is bullshit and you are fucking evil for this shit bro real talk i've never had to go off on a joint like this but come on man this is some bullshit man this is terrible the fact that you are making players have to put any money into the game in order to play and compete in an event is trash and egregious in itself but then to come over here and tell me to my face we are going to have the best offers in marvel strike force release 
history, bro. I'm thinking, okay, bet we finna get maybe five dollars for this girl, bro, for the you know for the unlock. We finna get maybe ten dollars at most, and we can pull out a three star or something like that. Fifty dollars on day one. $50 on day one, not even. It was $39.99 with tax. Think about all that, baby. Yo, real talk. Some of y'all, man, some of us got kids. Some of us got things to do. We got, we got bills to pay and things like that, baby. We don't have money to just be throwing over fucking $100 in the month alone. Then you wanted to get the strike passes and the battle passes. And then that's just the one character, B. That's just Shuri. You also got to do the same thing for Hank Pym, dog. You are talking minimum $200 out here just so you can get those characters. Characters. Then you gotta level up those characters. Even if you don't have those training materials, then you gotta put more money into the game to do that. Then on top of that joint, you still gotta participate in the event to get Captain Britain. And Lord knows what other offers they have to get his awakened abilities. They even discussed once you get the Shuri joint, you still are gonna have to get the awakened abilities through the offers of the Captain Britain in the store. This is terrible, bro, for real. On the joint, this pisses me off egregiously. <sighs> okay, okay, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. <sighs> that was that was free to play, John, out there, baby. That was just that was just from the free to play community. That's all that was. That's not how I feel overall about the game. That's not. But that's just strictly from the free-to-play payer base because I feel like that voice really is not getting heard. Like, I understand we have content creators that ha and we have Envoys that will voice their opinions and they'll, they'll call it like it is. And I'm not trying to say anybody is not telling the truth out here. But from the free-to-play player base, I just do not feel like it's been 100% your voices are really being voiced like that. Like, I understand there are people out there that are reading the Reddit posts because I think that's where the real anger is coming from in Reddit. And I love Reddit because they will let Scopely know they are on some bull and they will let them know early on the joint. But I just hadn't felt like my voice as a free-to-play player, at least because I have multiple people in my community that are free-to-play players. I have a lot of people in my alliance that are free-to-play. I have people that I work with that are free-to-play. And I'm... Honestly, we've had multiple conversations about this. We've sat down uh, and just really just laid out how much money is put into the game versus your return. And we all waited. We already know as soon as you put money into the game, it's automatically gone. As far as your turnaround value, it's just non-existent, right? But this is just a whole nother problem that they chose to ignore with this blog update as well right they put out this illuminati showcase fact and cues and all it did was just add gasoline to the fire bro we are upset that we do not get an unlock free to play and that you decided to honestly this is all this does and this is the biggest point that i really want you guys to take from this all this did was give the players that were already going to put money into the game, they were already going to buy these offers, all it did was give them a huge discount. It gave them a massive discount on what they were already going to buy, and it gave a massive fuck you to the free-to-play player base. That's what it did. That's all it did. I, I get that maybe they're just short on cash and they decided to just say, play the fuck you free to play button. They do this once every couple of freaking months or so. Right when we think that they're right out of that hole of bullshit, they decide to pull us right back in and show us why they are an evil company. But yo, real talk, I'm really hoping that they figure out what's going on because we had a similar issue that your boy was a little peeved about with the zombie juggernaut joint and we all got a free juggernaut out of that. So I'm hoping that they can see how terrible this is, how angry the community has gotten because of this and how split the community has gotten because of this and they do something to do about it, bro. Because, bro, if we have to keep it as is, your boy is not getting Captain Britain. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I'm going to keep it a buck with you here. I'm not getting Captain Britain. And all I do is spend money on the strike passes. I'm not buying these Shuri offers, bro. I'm going to keep it up. Like, I'm not. Now, if at the same time somebody out there in sexy YouTube and Twitch land want to come in and be like, ah, stop bitching here. Here's the money and buy it. Bet. Bet. But at the same time, I personally, John Johnson, can see zero value in putting 
over $200 down into not even anything beyond characters to get another character. That's terrible. Like you're not even getting anything back off of that. It's not even materials. It's not anything else that's gonna help other teams. It's not anything else that's gonna help you overall. It's literally just so you can play for Captain Britain. This is terrible. This is terrible, terrible, terrible trash, bro. Scopely, fix it, real talk, SMD. Hey, until next time, you know what it is out here. Catch us at twitch.tv slash Kingslayer Gaming LLC. Gotta add the LLC so you know it's me, baby. We stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, as well as Friday, 420 MST. I promise I'm not this angry on stream. Until next time, baby, you know what it is.